the NCAA seems to be tightening their rules with athletes in the NIL. So earlier this week, the NCAA voted to adopt a new rule to help protect athletes from agents with malice and unfavorable terms, uh, malice intent and unfavorable terms in the NIL. NIL meaning name, image, and likeness, um, mm-hmm. those type of contracts. The new rule would provide contract recommendations for deals, a registry of trusted agents um, that will be based on feedback from athletes who have worked with those individuals and aggregate data that will help athletes to see the more realistic picture of the going rates for endorsements. Mm -hmm. On the flip side of that, the NCAA also proposed new rules that would help NIL collectives to facilitate deals between themselves and athletes. Um, ultimately with the help with the hope of restoring control over roster management for athletic departments and teams Mm -hmm. sticks. Is it time for college athletes to form a union? That is an amazing question, bro. Because if you think about it, you got the NFL PA, you got the NBA PA, you got players associations all over, all over the world. For all of these different leagues, you got players associations. Now that in name, image, and likeness is coming to play, and these universities have the ability to pay these different players to e- just to even come to a visit, five k for a mm-hmm. visit type shit. You know what I'm That's saying? That's crazy. That's crazy. So if if you if you have the ability to to start p- paying these players, and even we even talked about how they were. They were saying that they were going to end up getting. I, f- I forgot. I forget off the top. I'm just. I'll come off the top of my head what we talked about before, but how they were thinking about giving some of these players like literal like wages, like giving them like thirty thousand. Oh yeah, yeah. The, the you know what I'm saying. President of the NCAA proposed that the um the colleges pay players in a trust. In a trust, exactly. So if you can start giving these players trust, you can give them NIL money. They can go and market themselves to different universities through the transfer portal and even before they even sign their letters of intent. If you have all of these options to pay these players, but the NCAA is constantly trying to protect themselves in this in this same in the same instance, then we need a players association to protect these players as well. We need yeah. somebody. I don't know if it will be players who are currently playing or rep- or, rep- or they hire representatives to, to represent them in the, in, in the NIL uh, discussion and debates and the trust debates and all of the money that they can make. I think it would be wise for them to have a players association. They need it so they can start putting in yeah. putting contracts in place. They can start putting in um, what's the what's the term I'm looking for? Um uh, uh, CBAs, collective bargaining agreements can be put together. Yep. Like, so that way they can, the NCAA can protect themselves and the players can also protect themselves. So that way, cool, NCAA, you putting together rules for for the players not to be taken advantage of outside of the NCAA, but what about y'all? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. Because y'all been taking advantage of these of, of college of college players NIL for decades prior to the last like right. two, three years. So what about y'all taking advantage of the players? So how about we put together a PA and we put it, put a CBA together and we start negotiating these things within each other because the agents going to be agents. They're going to find ways to be slick. My agent was slick mm-hmm. whenever I was in the NFL. He was slick. Um, mm-hmm. So they're going to be slick when regardless. They're going to find ways to 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 put things in the contract where you pay them a little bit more than what you actually think they're paying. The 3% ain't really the 3%. You know what I'm saying? Tight shit. So right. they're going to be slick in some kind of way. They're going to figure out ways within the paperwork. But y'all too, though, NCAA, y'all got to be called to the carpet because y'all been taking advantage of players for the longest. So yes, D-Lo, I think it's time for them to put together a, a union or some kind of players association to help them as well. So what you think, what you, what, what side do you want? I mean, everything you said, I, I couldn't agree more is I think it's in the best interest of the players of, the, of athletes, college athletes to have a union in place because again, like you said, agents, they'll find ways to, to be slick, but the NCAA has been, taking advantage i mean we we can't they have been taken advantage of there are areas in which you know it's nice to be a college athlete or it's great to be a college athlete you do get things that most individuals would dream of having while being in college Mm -hmm. um 
but there is a, a predatory aspect to the, college, the NCAA and how they've treated a- athletes to some degree as bro. well. And so if for, for them, for players to protect their best interests now that they are able to get money um, from their name, image, and likeness, I think it is in their best interest to have a union in place. Um, I think it, it'll be a, a mesh, uh, how they accomplish that would be a mesh of having somebody that is no longer a player represent them full time. Um, kind of like what the NFL PA does. I think NBA and all the other leagues are different. They ha- have an actual active player as the president. Mm-hmm. NFL is different. They have somebody that's not active as right. their president, but mm-hmm. then they have a collection of different individuals that are active and mm-hmm. past players to be on that committee as a whole. So, um, it, you know, I, I think they need to have that in place because – just as with all these professional leagues, when they form their unions, they form the unions because indivi- because owners and the league, they felt were taken advantage of and they felt like they were getting shafted with mm-hmm. not only their pay, but health care and those mm-hmm. type of things. And so 100% I agree with you. I think the NCAA athletes need to be starting or thinking at least having discussions about forming some type of union, how they do it and how it gets passed and allowed to, to be, I don't know. You know, the NCAA is definitely going to fight that, but Mm -hmm. it it has to happen because you've now opened the door NCAA because you, you allowed them to get paid and allowing them to get paid. You also have the right to somehow take it away. For sure. Without them having to say so. And so yep. that's not how it works in America. Or it's not how it's supposed to work in America. I, we know a bunch of corporations that don't like unions and whatnot. <laughs> but right. But if you if you're paying me, if you're paying me a certain wage, and then you have the right to decrease it whenever you want to or increase it whenever you want to without me having any input, nah, buddy. So yeah, players, I'm on your side. Form this union and Figure out how you can keep it going. I think if this, not I, increase it. Not nah, facts. I think they can. I think this can work twofold for the NCAA because I have advocated on this show a couple of times that there isn't enough guidance for these young guys who are making all this money to tell them to give them some kind of roadmap or give them some kind of advice on how to protect themselves from whether it be whether it be agents, whether it be women or men for that matter Mm. whether it be a lot of different things that they frivolous things that they might spend their money on i think this can work twofold i think this can work in a way to help them protect themselves from the ncaa but i can also say that if depending on who they hire in this players association if it happens i'm just we just speculating whoever they hire in this pa or whoever they would hire in this union that we're proposing that the ncaa should do they can have people with them to give these guys guidance on money management, um, um, money management, lifestyle, um, you know, just player relations in general to help them navigate these NIL deals, but also help them navigate once they move into their professional ranks as well, if they get to that point. So I, I think it can, I can think it can work twofold. I think you, what I think you do, is you bring in somebody like to like be the president, like you said, the NBA has somebody who is not a current player. Uh, well, no, the NFL. The, the NFL has somebody who's not a current player to be the president of the of the players' association, but they have current players as well. I think you have somebody like that situation. You have somebody who's not a current player, but mm-hmm. has a lot of knowledge of um, l- legal jargon, but also has a lot of knowledge of the NIL as well as college football. But then you then you vote on a you you allow the players. Well, it would, would be like more be. than just caught. My fault. I didn't mean to cut you off. Ahead, but it would, it would definitely they would definitely represent more than just college football. They would have to represent college athletes as a whole because we know true, 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 college true, true, true. It's, it's not just football, basketball just football, that right. have nil deals, right? That's so true. the one of the richest nils that we know of, or one of the richest recipients of nil contracts, is the Olivia Dunn chick that's mm-hmm. a gymnast at She's LSU. Gymnast. So yep. right. So I mean, it it would they would have to represent 
college athletes as a whole. Do you and think the each, challenge? Do you think each individual sport has a union, then, or do you think it's just one union for the whole NCAA? For, uh, for I all think it's one athletes? union. I okay. think it's one union for for everybody, but you know the committee is comprised of multiple sports um, Makes sense. that Makes can sense. get Makes those sense. nil Makes deals. Sense. Obviously, the challenge is going to be the fact that college athletes, up until the pandemic, college athletes were only supposed to have four or five years of active um, play in the NCAA. So. How do you represent or how is a collection of individuals that are only going to be there um, on average for four to five years? How do you represent them in a collective bargain agreement? Because it's ever changing, you know, Yeah, that that's going to be the challenge. But yeah. that's why I said I feel like it should be somebody that is not a current athlete and somebody that maybe has a, a, a legal background mm -hmm. to be the president. Or, and that, that also has an athletic background, um, mm -hmm. somebody that's been in the shoes of these athletes across the board, you know. So maybe it's a committee. Maybe it's not a president, but it is a committee of individuals that represent all the sports. They're the pre maybe it's that sticks. Maybe it's a it's a president for each individual mm -hmm. sport, but they're the collection for athletes, for athletes as a whole. As a whole, I agree. And then they can go to these meetings where the NCAA is, is proposing these rules and be the the mouthpiece for players. I think that I think that'll work out very well. I think that I think that honestly should happen. I think that should be something that should happen to be able to protect the players. Not again. Shout out to the NCAA for trying to trying to protect the players from shysty people that might take advantage right. of them. But the NCAA has historically been shysty to. To, to to the 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 players in the NCAA, so we gotta we have we need to have somebody to protect the players from them as well. So I think that should be something that should happen. I think that'd be dope. I think that would be dope, and that that would that would definitely that would protect both sides. Honestly, to me, that would protect both sides. That would protect the NCAA and have them be fair, and that would also protect the players and have them be treated fairly, but also not try to take advantage of the NCAA and the NIL too, because we have some. We do have some players trying to do that, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> so yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. So I think it'd be dope for them to form a union. Oh, y'all still here? That does mean you love the content, and if that is the case, there's a video on the screen right here. Go ahead and click that, view that. We think you're gonna love that one as well. Also, we still got our 600 subscriber goal, so there's a button on the screen right here. Go ahead and click that, subscribe to the channel, and we're on all your streaming platforms wherever you find your podcasts.